Um, because truth has a similar origin story, and a lot of oral tradition took place. Um, when you read in, when you read in, are you under the impression when you read in the first five books of the of the Bible that Moses wrote those? According to scripture, he did. Can you can you read me Deuteronomy one and one? But I'm still trying to see. I still, I still don't understand what you're saying. Really, my, my yeah. question is: Nearby, the stop. scripture says these be the words which Moses spake. So I'm asking you: Did Moses write this, or did somebody else write that? And if you don't know, that's cool. If you say, you yeah, know, I mean, know, according to scripture, really sure. according to scripture, I'm just, just according to scripture. Moses wrote. Moses wrote it. Moses okay, wrote right. the first five books. I can't. Right. I right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That's fine. But that scripture says that these are the words that he spake. This is not saying I, Moses, said. But go to okay. uh, 34, verse 5. It's going to be easy if you just go to the book of 34 and just scroll down to 5. Okay. Pick away the 5 to go. Just type in 34 and then just lead the, read the whole joint. Is that up there? Okay, boom. All right, so it says, So Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Lord. Who wrote that? If Moses died right there, brother. Yeah. I... Say that again. Who wrote that if Moses died right there, brother? Did he write that himself or did somebody else write that? Well, according to the scripture, he wrote all the he wrote he wrote those five books before he passed. Hold on, we reading the scripture, right? We're reading this scripture right, but it's being narrated, it's being narrated as saying that Moses had wrote had wrote this, but he's saying he all he already had wrote this whole this whole book before he passed. Where you but where you get that from though? Where does it say that Moses wrote them five books from? It says that in the book of Jubilees. Oh, so you subscribe to outside of the KJV. Of course. I, I never said I just subscribed to the KJV. I never said that. I don't I, I mean, know. I didn't, I didn't say you did it, but it's our first conversation. I didn't say Oh no, no, no. I I I'll read man. I subscribe to Jubilees, Enoch, Jash, or anything that our Bible tells us to read. Uh and I, I, I subscribe to any of those books. So even the ones that are said to be uh not authentic. You should still like what? subscribe to those. Uh, like what? The book, of, the book of Adam and Eve. Um, well, I, I like Enoch. I said, I have read some of that book before. Um, I, I can't say whether that's you know official or not. But what I will say is, when I read it through the spirit, it didn't, it didn't not, it didn't, it didn't make my spirit feel some type of way like it wasn't. You know, because I have read things like the Quran and different books that when you soon as you start sitting down reading it. It just automatically your spirit is just like it don't agree with it. But I have read Adam and Eve and, and it um it actually don't it it, it agrees with what, what with my spirit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't so speak for so everybody Adam else. Just committing suicide at that joint left over, you know what I'm saying? Like right over left, just committing suicide over and over again. Well, he was definitely trying to get back into um hold on, Adam and Eve. Okay, I don't think I read the whole I'm thinking about the oh, book okay. of Dasher. I yeah, read Jasher when it was Eve. yeah. Talk about Adam pretty much kept committing suicide, and Eve kept running to the angels because he kept after he kicked out the garden. You know what I'm saying? He was going through depression. He couldn't take it. He right now, himself. that's what it said. That's what it says in the book of Jasher. Now I didn't read oh, the book okay. of Adam and Eve, but okay. I read the book of Jasher. But I did know gotcha. it said in the book of what's that Jasher? That's all that I remember. It said something pertaining to um they can see the angels praise the Lord in heaven. Um, when they was in the garden, I can't remember if that was the Adam and Eve book. Or that, I think that was in the book of Jasher. I don't think I ever read the book of Adam and Eve, but I just heard a little bit oh, about okay. it. It was the book of Jasher. I was talking because you know it says the same thing in Jasher that they got kicked out. They were depressed. You know, Satan was trying to kill them the whole time. They kept begging the Most High to get back in. God would tell them no. So maybe, oh, maybe gotcha. the book of Adam and Eve kind of got the same similar stories. I don't know. Right, right, right. Sound like it. it sound like yeah, it. yeah. So yeah. Uh, you, you said something uh, that that caught my ear when uh, we read that thirty four and five. You said, "Well, they're narrating it to sound that way." So do you believe? So you're saying that the King James is a narration? I mean, I would say so because it, I mean, when you read the whole thing, somebody got to be narrating the whole thing. Because if you go to Matthew, if you go to Matthew, Luke, and John, the New Testament. Who's telling that story if it ain't even been written yet? Because Moses didn't write those books. So somebody got to be narrating that story as well. Well, Matthew, well, you know, those books of the New Testament, the Gospels were written starting 30 years after after Yeshua died. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying, it's just like, who was narrating that stuff? Well, it's supposed to be the author that's on the name. Matthew wrote it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, they, well, you know, when you got people that, that read the Bible and say, well, Matthew didn't write Matthew or Luke didn't write Luke well, or this one ain't know, right. 
the scholars, if you look up the scholars, I guess it's, it's also that that perspective. That's why I asked you if you believe the Bible to be the absolute word of God versus a net. You know, that's why I said it's it's about the perspective you put on it. I believe it. I believe it's the word of God according to the spirit. I'm not saying that God came out and said everything that every time a word was written in this Bible that what that don't say there says the Lord is the word of God. I believe through the spirit. The Bible say that, you know, like the scriptures say that it was written by holy men of God that was moved by the Holy Ghost. So I believe that you know it, what what was written was moved by the spirit of God. So it might not it might not have had to been God Himself saying it with His lips, but yeah. if they had the same spirit of the Most High, God gave them the spirit. Then you know that same Holy Ghost that's working in those men is the same you know same spirit that the Most High had. So I mean, it's still kind of it's still kind of the Word of God, so to speak. That's that's not necessarily God is saying it Himself. Mm 